everyone, Kat here. Today in the, the second part of our Watercolor 101 series. So this is for absolute beginners. So it's to help you get started in watercolor. And once you start, you will not stop. <laughs> it is the best hobby. Okay, so as promised, I said that I was going to use my my least expensive uh, materials for this for this beginner series. So this is the pretty excellent. I showed it in my last video. It has 36 colors and they are really fantastic. Much better than most beginner paints. This is just a little swatch card. Up here I have two jars of water. This little one I try to keep for re-cleaning my because this one can get pretty dirty uh you know a few minutes into the painting and this one i just clean my brush if i'm going from a really dark color to light um make sure you have your cup of coffee or your tea or whatever you're drinking over to the other side because i guarantee you you will stick your paintbrush in there <laughs> okay first things first i have a pad of paper if you can see this it's from the Dollarama, folks. The Dollarama. So I paid $3 for it. And it says it's quality art paper. Uh, watercolor paper. I mean quality. I don't know. But look, I tried. I was fooling around on it. And <laughs> it's really decent. Really, really decent. So I'm gonna. we're going to try a few drills today. And it's, I'm going to explain to you the difference between wet on dry and, and wet on wet painting. And then at the end, we're going to do a couple of little flowers. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to, second things first, how's that? I'm going to spray my paints to activate them. This is the best way. It usually takes just a couple of seconds to activate them. I am going to get... This is a pretty big, um, this is a size, this is a Zen, sorry, my eyesight's not what it used to be. I'm sorry, I can't see it. But I would say that's a good size 10, roughly, uh, pointed round brush. The Zen series, the Royal and Lang Nickel, like I showed you in the last video, quite inexpensive, really, good deal. And, um... I have a, a smaller brush from that series too. I think this says it's a size four. I find this a little bit small for a four, but it comes to a nice point. And I have a few other things to try later if, if I so choose, but I think this is good to start with. Okay. What I want you to do, first we're gonna paint wet on dry. So that means that your paper stays dry. So you're going to pick a color, any color that you choose, your favorite color. So I think mine right now is this one. So I think that is called, if I look at my thing, one, two, three, four down. That's called Turkey Blue. <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to paint a line Flatten your brush down, paint this line, okay? So you have a lot of control over your paint when you're painting on dry paper. We're gonna do this again. I'm gonna pick another color. I'm gonna go into this reddish orange color. And I'm gonna push my brush down and just make a little rectangle. Now this paper, I mean, for a dollar store paper, this is Pretty darn good. Oh, whoops. Okay. One more time we're going to do this. I'm going to choose a green. I can't quite see what they are unless I look at my my card here. So I'm going to choose... I'm going to choose hooker's green. So the second one. Okay. I'm going to push down. There we go. Just like that. Now... If you wanted to soften these lines on cheaper paper, you have to do this right away. You can't wait. What you would do is you would wet your, wet your brush, dab it on your towel, and just tickle the edge. 
and what it does is it helps watercolor will go where water is so it helps it to soften the edges so if you're painting uh, let's say you're painting something that's in the distance and it's not quite sharp or if you're painting I, I do a lot of portrait painting and animal paintings and the soft edges are sometimes essential you know so um, that's a little trick and it, even on this look at see where it's, it's just traveling where the water goes it's this is what I just love about watercolor okay so now since you, you and you can practice this on a paper bag look I have a paper bag here so if you don't want to waste your paper you really just for practicing you can pick up your color and you can do the same thing on your paper bag okay and I get these paper bags when I buy groceries I'm sure you do too so and look you can even soften the edges it's a little like if you take more time to flatten your bag out, it will work better for you but look at that look at that it's beautiful okay so the next thing we're going to do is wet on wet. So that means your paper is going to be wet when you start. So we're going to paint. I hope you can see this. We're going to paint kind of like a square. And if you're using 100% cotton paper, this will this exercise will work out a little better, but you, we're not right now. So pick again, pick another color that you just love. So I'm going to this blue this time and look at that look at it it explodes look at that oh I love that oh I just love it I could just do these doodles all day long <laughs> so keep keep going keep going and on cheaper paper as I said you might have to add more water because it doesn't absorb the same way as cotton paper does so there we go Look at that. Look at that gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, I, I could do this all day. So now I'm going to take a color that's a little different from this one and see what happens when we mix it on the other side of the wet. You just drop it in. And because it's, you know, inexpensive paper, you can push this around a little more. If it's cotton, it's going to go like that. Oh, God, it's fun. I'm already thinking of a landscape with like water and lots of greenery. Hmm. Possibilities are endless. Okay, let's let's do this again. So paint a shape. It could be a triangle, a circle. I'm going to do a circle this time. Roll your brush around. Roll it around again. Make sure it's good and wet. There we go. And if you want, you can go in with this large brush too. I'm going to use a large brush now to put some paint in there. So I'm going to choose a, a red. So I'm going to drop this in. Ooh, look at that. I love it. Oh, this is just gorgeous. Eh? Look at that. Mm, love it, love it, love it. Okay, clean off your brush. I'm going to get a different color. I'm going to I'm going to try for the yellow. See what happens when I drop in some yellow here. Yeah, it's not it's not really flowing too well. Some colors flow better than others naturally. Uh, you'll discover that as you fool around with your paints and we'll 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 do swatches and stuff in other videos. Like we'll make this together one day and for now, I want you to just play look at that. Oh, Okay, one more time. We're going to do a triangle. Triangle. So you see the difference. This brush can hold a lot more water and it can hold a lot more paint. So that's why this looks a little different than this. The water was kind of flowing into the wet paper. So here we go. So what should I do? What color? Ooh, what haven't I used yet? Okay, let's see. There's this... this tree green this one is called some companies call them they're they're like uh it could be a, a specific color but they just some companies just name them differently oh yeah look at that beautiful color yellows usually tend to spread very well and this green has a lot of yellow so 
and I'm gonna try this 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 is not turkey blue <laughs> um, here we go there we go I'm just kind of putting it where I want it to go but wow just I could just do this all day okay so now that we've got that we're gonna try and do a little flower or something the other thing I recommend you having, I use this towel here. It's kind of it's kind of like a lint-free dishcloth. And I use one paper towel. I really try not to waste paper towels on this. I try to use my towels to dry my brushes. So what we're gonna do now, let's use a smaller brush for this one. So take some clean water and we're gonna make the shape of a petal. Okay, just like a like a I hope you can see that, like a kind of like an upside down teardrop and we're going to do two of those because it's cheaper paper so it will dry faster okay so and then we're going to take what color rose do I want let's see rose it's not a rose it's just a flower okay look at that see fills up the whole petal look at that oh, oh, oh. Ooh, love it love it <laughs> sorry guys I know it sounded a little strange, but I can't tell you how much I love painting. So now I'm going to take, now that these are done, I'm going to put a dot here, like a really liquidy dot. I don't know if you can see how liquidy that is. And I'm going to put another one. I'm going to get a bit more paint on my brush. I'll put another one here. And another one here. Quite watery, but lots of pigment. So you clean your brush, just dab it a teeny bit, and you're going to touch this, and it should spread out. So that's another method you could use to make petals. It's got a little bit of a more natural look to it, and if you don't find there's enough color, then you just take some out of your... Uh, off your palette here and drop it in just like we did this one there look at that look at that guys so when this is dry we can put a center in it but for now what we're going to do is we're gonna make a stem for this so we're gonna load up our brush make sure this part of your brush is called the ferrule Make sure that this is dry. Hold your brush up straight up and come down lightly like that. And then what I do is I just put a, a, a stem there and I'm going to put a stem there. And then I'm going to add water to my brush without drying it. It's still got the paint on it, the green paint. And I'm going to just wiggle it around till it looks like a leaf I'm gonna do it to the other side most people I'm telling you do not paint like that they do this they turn their work it's for you to be comfortable it's not for anyone else I'm, I'm doing this for you to see so I can be a little uncomfortable but I don't want you to be uncomfortable Okay. Okay, we're going to do one more. So let's see what color flower. Let's try this one. If you have to respray your paints, go ahead. Okay. So we're going to put a nice juicy dot there. Juicy dot here. Juicy dot here, however many petals you want it to have. I want mine to have five. So, juicy dot here. Clean off your brush really well. Go into the clean water. And then you can coax it out. Remember, you're going to coax this out like we did, like we did up here. So we're going to kiss that dot. And then we're going to just wiggle our brush around whatever way you want. And then you're going to do it again. Don't re-wet your brush if you think you have enough water. 
Now I need more water, clean water. Kiss the brush. Get, I mean, kiss the paint. And this one. If you want more, you just drop it in. They're so beautiful. You can add, you know, it has quite an organic look to it. Very natural. Like, it's not all all flowers are perfectly shaped you know some of them are kind of ratty looking and they're they're all beautiful so now that this is pretty dry i think in the center i could drop a tiny bit of yellow here like that and then around it i think i'm going to use some kind of a brown here just a little I'm going to put it right around here and that's okay. Watercolor bleeds and that's what you want. That It's so beautiful when it bleeds. Okay. And this blue one, if I'm careful, I'm going to put some yellow right in here. Try not to touch those petals with it. And then we'll play with that. I'm going to put a stem on. I'm going to choose a different green this time. If I can remember what one I used. Okay. I'll use this one. I'm going to put a stem here. I'm going to put another stem there. Add some water. Wiggle. Add some water. Wiggle. Then you can drop in a bit darker color. That's a bit too dark. <laughs> but you could kind of blend that in. That's okay. Go in with my my original green. You get the gist. So I hope this helps with your wet and dry. I think in the next one we're gonna in the next video we're gonna work a little bit on um, color mixing and while trying to make something. And please keep your scrap papers. Even if you're, if you're working on um, a paper bag or something, try and keep it so you see your progress. And there's also things you can do with these to make cards later on. And I'll show you all that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. That way more people get to see this. And uh, comment too if you like. Let me know what you'd like to see. And, and, and I'd, I'd like, just love to hear your opinion. Okay, I hope, really hope you have a lovely day. Happy watercoloring. Bye-bye.